to find the distance between the particles after a certain time duration we need to find the relative position between them so suppose particle p has initial position r naught i plus j and a velocity so using the formula r equals to r naught plus vt you can the uh, you can find the final position of particle p after t seconds similarly for another particle q you can find the final position after t second so if we need to find the distance between these two particles we need to find the difference between the two particles so that's pq that is relative position of q from p it means the difference between them the difference between them and it will be in the vector form that is you will get the displacement here not the distance so pq equals OQ minus OP that is the, relic, uh, the final position of R min, uh, Q minus the final position of P so 3I minus the value of RP So only the um, difference of i coordinate will be here. So three minus one minus two t i. Similarly, the j coordinate will be deducted here. So minus two plus four t minus one plus three t. That's two minus two t i and. Uh, minus 3 plus 70 j so suppose we need to find the dis uh, distance between the two particles after 4 seconds so if t equals to 4 s then pq will become So minus 6i plus 25j this is your displacement if we need distance that is only the scalar uh, quantity then we need to find the modulus of the displacement that's minus 6 square 25 square it will be around Suppose we need to find the time um, when a single particle is at a direction due uh, north of another particle. Suppose this is P and this is Q. Coordinate of P is 2, 4 but coordinate of Q is 2, 6. So it is saying that particle Q is, suppose this is the east, west, north, south line. So the particle P and the particle Q are at the same vertical line. So the Y coordinate is different for both the particle, but the X coordinate is 2. Here particle Q is due north of P. Similarly, particle for particle P, particle P is due south of Q. So whenever the direction is north or south, the particle has to be aligned in a same vertical line that is the x coordinate has to be same if we take another point which is here suppose 4 4 then the particle will not be in a north or south direction to be in a north or south direction it has to be at a same um, line same vertical line that is the x coordinate has to be same so if we need to find particle due either north or south, remember the I coordinate of particle P has to be the same.
with the i coordinate of q similarly if we have another point suppose p and q here if coordinate of p is 2 3 and coordinate of q is 4 3 and uh, suppose for particle p this is your east west line and that's your north south line so particle q is due east of particle p so the particles are at the same horizontal line that is the y coordinate of both the particle has to be same if they has to be due east or due west of one another similarly particle p is due west of particle q so here the y coordinate has to be same so if the particles are due east or west the j coordinate of both the coordinate will be same you do not need to draw the diagram during the exam these are just theoretical concept all you need to remember is whenever they ask you to find the direction related to north or south just equate the i coordinate to find the time and for east or west just equate the j coordinate so for example we have two particles the final position vector of p and q are given and we need to find the time when the particle q is due west of the particle p so for east or west the uh, j coordinate will be same so the j coordinate for particle p is 1 minus 3t is equals the j coordinate of the second particle so minus 2 plus 4t so here the value will be the time is 3 by 7